just got my 75 grouping up with random players. I don't know how that worked out, but it did. And we matched against a player that I added about a month ago that I haven't played with since. So that's pretty funny. Uh, this game plays me going 28 and 3 on Symmetra. I even called it. Um, we, on offense, the other team didn't have a support. So I thought, if they're not smart enough to use a support on defense, there's no way that they're smart enough to overtake a Symmetra capture point defense setup. And it worked out perfectly. I go on like a 21 kill streak, just jumping and beaming fools in the face. So uh, look out for that. But ranked man, ranked is so whack yet so fun. It's like it's so uh, it has a polar polarizing effect on you. When you're winning, it's just like this incredible high. It's fun and satisfying, and you want to requeue immediately. And then you lose two or three in a row, and it's like, why is there a coin flip for sudden death? Why is there no stopwatch? Why are we getting offensive junk rats? Why can't the support ever stay alive? Why can't anyone actually play tank? You just you just start asking all of the questions that lead to you losing. And it's really annoying. And the whole the matchmaking is just a numerical version of every video game ever made ever made basically. It's Call of Duty matchmaking in the form of ranked. And we have numbers to prove it. You know, you queue in and I'm I've been anywhere from like I placed at sixty seven, got to seventy three pretty quickly and then went back down to like say seventy or sixty nine. And then Hody who primarily plays support is like sixty five, anywhere from sixty two to sixty five. And then our teammates. Fifty nine. 52, 56, the occasional like 60, every game. And then the other team is just the same thing. Bunch of like 52s to like 65s. Where is the matchmaking? I don't think anyone should be uh, allowed to play if unless they're within like like 15 rating points anywhere from 10 to 15 rating points I don't I think should be the uh, the limit I don't know if the population's high enough on Xbox Live for that on PC I'm sure it is but if I'm on 75 we should not have anyone that's a 50 unless I'm grouped up with them on my team it's, it's just unacceptable um we played this decent party of four on Dorado, and we won. And they had a, I think all of their dudes were from like 62 to 75, and then they had a duo queue that was 58 and 50. And they literally weren't good enough. And our duo queue, or our teammates were just better than them. Um, at the beginning of ranked though, <laughs> it was not, at the beginning, of ranked when me and Hoodie were just duo queuing every game our teammates worse were worse than the other team. Every single time. It's quite hilarious. And then when and when they weren't, we would blow away the other team. If somehow our teammates were competent, steamroll. Especially when I'm flying around with Pharaoh, who's the most the best character in the game right now. Because it's so hard to kill her out of the air. Um I mean, that party of four I just mentioned, their fucking cards were hilarious. One of them was a 338. He had 109 hours on Farrah in quick play. Um, and then in ranked, he plays different characters. I think Elapsing had like a 33 hour ranked Farrah. And the other one had like 19 hours. I only have six hours on Farrah. And I think that's too much. 63 wins, 21 hours. Six hours on Farrah, four on Roadhog. Two Soldier, two Reaper, one Winston, Lucio, and then it's just mixed. I have yet to play Bastion or Junk Wrapping, right? Um, but yeah, the, 
this is two things that really bother me. The matchmaking and the sudden death coin flip is incredible. Whoever thought that that was a good idea, shame on you. The fact that there's no stopwatch, we've lost so many games where we roll through them on offense and then lose one crucial fight on defense and it's like a 10 minute defense and we lose. Coin flip, we get defense, we can't hold them off with this. But our five minute offensive time, it just doesn't even matter. Null and void. Another thing about the matchmaking is lower skill rankings not only does that reflect less ability, it also reflects in the character choices. Junkrat, when trying to break a hill, is probably like the worst character in the game. And do we always have a Junkrat in King Hill? Yeah, pretty much. Just solo queue like 53 Genjis all over the place, tracers that can't get a kill, Zarya's that like shield right off spawn like before in any fight, like it's just... Ugh. I can go on and on, but still gonna keep playing. I wanna get the gold gun. I'm probably gonna get uh I made up my mind what I wanted to get the other day, which character. Probably Probably Hanzo, honestly. That or Roadhog. Probably Roadhog. We'll see. We'll see who's still relevant on August 18th. Um, but yeah, I've got, you know, got the gameplays. If there's any specific characters you noobs want to see, let me know. I'm going to try to get a gameplay up with every single character in the game. I've already gotten at least, like, what, five? At least five or six. Had a pretty sick uh, diva hold on Hanamura earlier. Um, May is so much fun. I used to hate on her, but she's she's awesome. She's not that good at all, but she's amazing at the same time. Amazing! It feels good walling off your teammates' ults. It's just revenge for all the bullshit that's happened to you. I did that to a Reinhardt in King of the Hill earlier. The moment he hammered, I walled, and I blocked his pin, and then I destroyed it. We still killed him all, but it's just like, yes! <laughs> That's what you get. For every time you did something bad to me. I mean, not you specifically, Reinhardt, but you, person who I will never communicate to. You, you solo queue random player. You! Who can't even go positive in offensive payload. You! Looking at you. Um, also, I think it's hilarious remembering all that shit talk from that one fucking random kid on that God Squad video. He left like a dozen replies saying how bad I am. Like, dude, check the leaderboards. I'm the same rating right now as your hero fucking what the fuck is Pachi. We're both 75 right now. What do you have to say to that? And I'm playing with two or three people with a 60, like, 3% win loss, and we're the same rating. It's hilarious. Ugh. Also, haven't been really feeling commentaries because of all the bullshit that's been happening with just the shootings and Kevin Durkan. It's just. No, not in the mood to rant about video games when it seems every single day a black man is pinned on the ground by a cop and then shot in the back. It's like, why? You know? And then of course, the answer is not to murder the cops. That will lead to worse things. There's no point to uh, complain about first world problems when that shit is happening, even though I just did it for about eight minutes. Oops. The easiest comparison of Overwatch ranked to any other game's ranking system and what needs to change is Halo 3. In Halo 3, if you search to 50 and the game is popular, the chances of you getting other 50s and 49s and 48s is like 99 to 100%. 
everyone was within your skill pool. And pros, play against other pros, play against really good online players that are now pros, like formal and lethal. They would all play each other. No random 42s searching alone would get it matched up against 50s. Maybe if there was like 100 people online, once in a blue moon that would happen. But there's enough people in this game. There better be enough people in this game to tighten the, the ratio, but I don't think that their matchmaking allows for it. I think they would, they think the community would prefer shorter queue times. I don't want to wait 10 minutes to play full game for everyone having the same rank. That's just, that's not going to be worth it. It's not fun waiting that long in between matches. But when you have a level like 52, I think 52 is the lowest rank I've seen paired with me. And I'm, and I'm like a 71. That's like, what percentage is that, man? That's like a 25% difference. Right? Yeah, just about. It's literally a solo 42 or 43 matching up with a 50. This. 42 is for free kills in MLG. They didn't know. They have them, but I didn't even know when Sniper would respawn. They didn't know the times on like overshield and camo. They didn't know which way to run the flag. They didn't know jack fucking shit. It's the reason why it's called matchmaking, right? Maybe I should just go to PC.